You're just like... I don't think that's a nice thing to do in front of the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is gonna be upsetting for some people. You know what I'm saying? You go to your mother-in-law's, she's like, don't use the towels. So you're like... <laughs> Got it out of your system? All right, bye. We good? <laughs> we good now? <laughs> nice. People really get offended about this one. Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I, we have been decorating this entire house. I'm gonna have to set my cup back down. Yeah, you're gonna like, get too excited. I get too excited. I'm like, eee! we've been decorating the house for the holidays and we've been having so much fun and we've gone a little bit overboard this year and... And when we say a little bit, we mean that much overboard. <laughs> Like, doesn't fit inside the camera screen. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun. But we were talking last night as we were getting our son's room ready. Make sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna be sharing the rest of these rooms. We're gonna be sharing a full home tour. You don't wanna miss out on all that good stuff that's coming out. But we, um, we've been decorating all the rooms and we were sitting and chatting and we were like, you know what's funny is there's a lot of things that we didn't buy. Yes, there's a lot of things we didn't do. Yes. So we thought it'd be really helpful, or at least we're kind of hoping you'll find it helpful for us to share the things that we Maybe. didn't buy. One of the things that I noticed is that I actually don't buy a lot of certain Christmas decor things that in the past I used to buy a lot of, and then this year, I, actually the last couple years, yeah. I've really kind of changed the way that I shop and the way that I buy for the holidays. And I found that it's actually saved me a lot of money because I'm able to really build on what I bought each year. And now that we're really starting to get into that groove, yeah. I'm really seeing the effect of buying in this way and how it's really, just really effective and really helping us create beautiful rooms. All right, let's jump in. So the first thing that I've noticed that I do not buy, and I used to buy a lot of, I don't buy the soap pumps anymore that are like shaped like things. Where you push Santa's <laughs> head and soap comes out of his mouth, that type of thing? Well, you know, they're really cute and I'm not 100% opposed to them. I've just found that I haven't been buying them. I realized that I prefer to have a soap pump that is, that I use a lot longer than that. Oh yeah. So, so I noticed this year, instead what I've been buying, uh, actually the last couple years, is yeah. the Winter Forest from William Sonoma. The reason I noticed I was doing this, I think the reason why, is that I feel like the soap pumps, first of all, they're really cute. I mean, let's just be honest. Those little ones that are shaped like Santa and snowmen, Yeah. they're really cute. And I'm not opposed to putting those, especially like in my kids' bathrooms. I'd probably still buy one if my kids asked for it, just being honest. Probably so. <laughs> I'd be like, I shouldn't buy this, but I'm gonna do it They anyways. never ask for anything. <laughs> yeah, especially the holidays. Yeah. Uh, but the thing that I started to buy instead, especially for like the main bathrooms, the kitchen and all the different areas, is actually something that will last not from late, basically from fall all the way through winter. Yeah, these are like winter smells. These yeah. are not, and they're not, they're, they're wintry not looking. They're Christmassy. They're not Christmassy. Yeah, they're they're festive and they feel like they're, it's really fun to use these actually. Oh, it is, and afterwards you're just like. I don't think that's a nice thing to do in front of the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, this isn't a live event. <laughs> Comment section <laughs> blowing up. <laughs> so I think that these are really great <laughs> to buy because you can use them all the way from fall all the way through winter Yeah. and you don't feel like you have to take the soap pump out and I think that's really nice and these are recyclable or you can also refill them so yeah. it's nice because you can pull them out actually you can buy the refills at William Sonoma. Ooh, pine, cedar, and cinnamon. Yeah. I love it. So there you go. That's what we do instead. Yeah. Right, can we manage to get through towels? <laughs> More of you. <laughs> All right, so the next one is that we have stopped buying holiday towels. At least I have. I don't know, Jack might buy those still. So I can't wash my, I can't dry my hands on Santa's face? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> That's all I used to think. I used to have to dry on the backside because I felt like I was being like anti-Christmas. You're not supposed to touch the front of those anyway. You're not supposed to touch them at all. You're at supposed to wash in... your hands and then do this in the bathroom. Because <laughs> you're not allowed to touch the towels. <laughs> so many reasons why we don't buy those anymore. I you feel guys know like... what I'm saying. You go to your mother-in-law's, she's like, don't use the towels. So you're like... <laughs> and then you don't want to wipe it on Santa's face, poor guy. You go to the naughty list. 
Okay, exactly. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Typology. I am so excited to tell you about Typology. I have been absolutely blown away. A few weeks ago, they sent me their products and they are absolutely beautiful. I've had them sitting out on my countertop. I love, literally just absolutely in love with the beautiful packaging, but this company goes so far beyond that. One of my favorite parts that really got me excited about wanting to test out all their products was the fact that they, first of all, they're a B Corp. They have a mission to demystify skincare with simple, straight talking transparency. I love the fact that they make naturally active, effective, and sustainable skincare products. I love the fact that they offer top quality products and yet they're still at such an affordable price. They're really popular in France. I had not heard of them and I just wasn't sure, but once I saw that you get to fill out a questionnaire about your skin, I knew, okay, this is something I'm really interested in because everybody's skin is different. And so they don't sell the same products to every single person. What you're gonna do, what you do is you get online and you fill out their little questionnaire and it helps connect you to the right products to your skin and your goals. The products are absolutely gorgeous. They all smell amazing. This is the cleansing gel that they sent me, which has a pH 5% and the aloe vera cleansing gel. This is the micellar water. I love this. It's only seven ingredients. I also got raw 3011 and this one is very hydrating. I have this amazing little stash of serums. This is so cool because I like to have a morning and evening routine and they have broken that down for me as well. I absolutely love these products. I know that you will love them as well. Right now, if you click my link, you can take Typology's skin diagnostic test to receive a personalized skincare routine that matches your needs. Plus, when you spend $30 or more on Typology's website, you will get a free radiance face scrub with rosehip oil valued at $30 with your purchase. And when you spend $60 or more, you'll get free shipping. This offer is for new and existing customers. It's an amazing deal, so take advantage while it lasts. I will leave all the details down below in the show notes, and now I'm going to uh, go ahead and actually use all my products and do my, my little evening routine. I'm so excited because it's always, it's always such a treat. I feel like I'm pampering myself, and I'm definitely taking good care of my skin as well. The other thing that I do not buy, and I don't think I've ever actually bought, but I did see this in the store, and we were like, I'm curious. <laughs> we do not buy uh, toilet covers or bath mats that are <laughs> seasonally themed. Yeah. We were at Target the other day, and they had them, and we were both like, like we both screeched in place. I was like, who buys that? That like, puts you on the naughty list. Yeah, no. Really quickly. It's just not nice. We don't put Santa on the toilet. Like this just, <laughs> it just seems so, well, it was funny. I would do it as a joke, but I wouldn't, but then it's like, but you've spent your money on it. I don't know. Yeah. It's just like, we bought the, the funny toilet paper. <laughs> Maybe because you can actually use that, but. <laughs> Still, there's something wrong about that. I don't know, it just seemed wrong. It just seemed wrong. It just seemed, and even the little bath mats, like we don't we don't change out all that stuff. We don't change out the soap pumps. We don't change out the, even in the kitchen, we don't change out the towels. We, it's not just the bathroom. It, we don't put down holiday rugs. Maybe no one does this. Maybe it's just my mom. <laughs> I hope she's not watching. She's still on her cruise when this goes live. I don't think so. She's going to be back and she's going to be upset you. with me. We love you, By the you, way, Mom. I love you. Look, We baklava, love going to visit. Yes. You can eat mine. I won't yell at you. But yeah, no, we don't, we don't change out all that stuff because it just, it's a lot of money and I'd rather have things that are things that we can use year round. So yeah, anyways, moving along. Yeah. So the other thing that I think is kind of unusual is that we don't buy festive pillows. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people buy and it's something we just don't do. Now, oh, like what we do do is that we buy like, stop, <laughs> we buy furry pillows. We buy furry pillows. I think that faux fur yeah. pillows, velvet pillows, uh, Sherpa, oh, we got some Sherpa oh, ones. Oh, Sherpa. put into Landon's room. They're so cute. Yes. So we buy seasonal. Boucle, stuff like that we use. Yeah, yeah. And I left a lot of the pillows that we use or year round. Uh, but I just, I don't buy things with sayings on them. I haven't been buying 
even just a festive pillow. Like I, sometimes I really like the ones that they have at Pottery Barn mm -hmm. that have like the snowflakes embroidered in them. I think I'd be tempted by those. Yeah, but we don't buy stuff that says ho, ho, ho on it. No, and I just don't normally buy even the embroidered ones. I just haven't been buying things that felt overly themed. Yeah. I would try to buy things that are more seasonal, like those faux fur and the boot clay and the yeah. Sherpa, because it feels like, this is the reason, I don't have time to redecorate the entire house the day after Christmas. And then that weird zone between January and then I don't decorate for Valentine's, so we're in the spring. And there's yeah. like this weird dead zone. So if I don't, if I if I don't decorate with all that festive stuff, I don't have a lot to put away. I'm just gonna put away a couple of the mercury glass trees. I'm gonna put away a little bit of the ornaments and the tree, and then the rest that I've put in there is actually really wintry. And that's yeah. why I think we do that, because it's actually it's a money saver and a time saver. And the house feels happier after Christmas, because otherwise it's like pillaged afterwards like there's nothing left i think that depression that a lot of people hit right after the holidays first of all it's probably because you know we all have to lose weight and you're like i don't want you to gotta <laughs> lose weight the credit card bills come in and then your house is literally just bare and you're yeah. like Ugh. yeah that let's it just i think it helps pad that that moment and you know you just have like this you, you've actually spent your money really well and now you're gonna be able to enjoy it for a lot longer and i can't help you on your waistline because we're you know we're telling you to go by buckle bob yeah but I do think that that transition is a lot better and your house just still feels wintry and it's winterized and Christmas and Christmas I know that's Jack's word, but just a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> not too much. Okay, so the next one, I know this is gonna be upsetting for some people, probably more than any of the other ones because I think this is the stuff that people spend the most money on. You don't even know what I'm gonna say. Nope, but I'm assuming it's from Home Goods. <laughs> You're right, it is. <laughs> And that is small holiday slash Christmas decor. All of those little items. You're going after everything today. It's not that I'm opposed to those things. It's just, again, this was me noticing I'm not buying that stuff. I have a few mercury glass trees. I have a few little gold uh, reindeer. I bought the letters, letters to Santa box for that Landon's was cute. room. It was really cute. But otherwise, I didn't buy like all these little things that you can buy everywhere right. you go. Because yeah. I just feel like, it. first of all, a lot of it's little, and I've tried over the last few years to start upsizing the items that I put into yes, my home. Yes, very much part I, of our style. Yeah, I felt like it just, it feels like it makes things feel a lot more upgraded and makes the room just feel like it's not so full of things, and yet you can have beautiful things in the space. So I would say upsize the accessories that you do get, minimize the number that you do buy. It doesn't mean you have to stop buying all of them, but like they just have like, a million little houses and we have like one little set that we put in Landon's room. Yeah. But then you could just keep going. And what I've noticed is when it's the small things, you actually don't notice them because there's so much. Yeah. When you go with like more substantial things, even just like one gold reindeer here or a few trees there, you actually notice it. I think so. You actually feel it more, so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we, we just skip on most of it. I'll do this one. <laughs> why, because you like it? I like this one. This <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> People really get offended about this one. All right, I'm gonna go after this one. Unless someone's brand new to your house and has no idea what time of the year it is because they plopped around from another planet, they know it's Christmas. Maybe. Our kids know because the 65 trees that we have around our house and the snow machine out front that's gonna be installed next week. See, we, we just choose to spend <laughs> our money in different ways. Don't you worry. We're, we're still very much into the Christmas spirit. There's no bah humbugging happening There's still happening some Clark around here. Griswold living in no, here. We're, we're good. Don't you worry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't think you actually told them that. You... Signage. <laughs> People know that it's Christmas. Yeah. The 65 trees, the ads, the music, it gives it away. Falling snow. Falling snow. Like the, the... Your ugly sweater you're wearing with Christmas balls all over it. Everyone knows it's Christmas. Yeah. We just don't do signage. We don't. But we don't do that at any time. <laughs> Our daughter said the other day. <laughs> Haley said we should have, if we did that, we would have a sign, stare, stare, <laughs> stare, stare. Want <laughs> some. She's like, can you imagine if we labeled our entire house? Dresser, couch. <laughs> Santa's corner. Like, <laughs> don't sit there, yeah. Santa's seat. <laughs> 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 You don't need it, so my mom, I get, my mom's gonna be mad. She loves all that sign. <laughs> she she does. does, and a lot of people do. But we just find even year round we don't use it. 
at all. No, we don't. No, we don't. So if, it, if you love it, we're not gonna take it away from you. Like if you just if you just find so much joy in it, again, like just enjoy it. But yeah, yeah you like how I'm justifying. It just doesn't look very sophisticated. And it really is a little bit unnecessary. And you're spending a lot of money on it and you're not going to get this sort of like beautiful, like, I just assume that if you're clicking on a designer's website, you're wanting designer tips to make yeah. your home look like a designer was there. Those are the things that we skip. There, said, done. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> this is yours. Oh gosh, this is mine. You're okay. obsessed with this. And this is like, I get it, but you are obsessed with this. Okay, so we go on walks all the time at night because we love going. It's nice and cool out. Get to the point. We walk around. <laughs> and the one thing we notice over and over again is mix, mismatched lighting. I can't even show you because I don't have the other type. He notices a lot. All the time. Like he's so, just like, <gasps> look at the lights. And I'm like, they look very pretty. What's the big deal? He's like, they're not the same color. No. So really quickly, <laughs> and we'll add this in post-processing somewhere, post-editing. So there are two types of lights. There are warm lights, which is what we have on our tree over here. And then there are cool lights. Don't mismatch them. Warm it has a yellow yeah, look. Yeah, this has a yellow brown. The cool and, has like a blue color to it. Yeah. And when you put them together, somewhere in the middle, they just become like, you know, pea green. It's and just your eye nice. just can't figure out where to land. So when you It you're, does actually just feel a little bit off-putting. Yeah. I would, I personally don't do any of the blue, any of the cold lights. Nope. We just don't do any of them. Not at all. We just think that the, that the yellow light just looks warmer in general. And the only time I could see myself doing it differently is if I was like, all out doing like a snowy vista with like blue icicles and like I was doing something yeah. that was specific to like a theme one like that. house. Yeah. But generally we just wouldn't do that. So he is obsessive about it. So I don't have to worry about it, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, but and what I mean yeah. by matching is like our light bulbs are the same color as our Christmas lights. And there's <laughs> like yeah. the outside, like all of it has to match. So yeah. just go warm, go warm, go warm. Yeah. I got it out. Yep, got it out of your system. All right, bye. We good? <laughs> we good now? We're good. Okay. So I don't buy themed blankets. Our daughter does, and she loves them. They yeah. have them for like five dollars at the end caps on Target, and she can't walk past and not have them. And we're like, how many more do you need of these? And she wants them for every single oh, season. Oh, I know it's so sweet. And we give them to we her. We buy them for her. Let's just be honest. She's like, oh, she's in college. We're like, we're, I need to have a gingerbread. <laughs> yeah, we're the worst. <laughs> If you have kids, you know, you're just like, okay, sweetie. And then we go in her room joy. and look for the sign that says blankets and we stack it right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she has a lot of them. Yeah, she does. But I don't buy them for the rest of the house. I buy them for Haley because yeah. Haley is beautiful and sweet and the most loving child ever. And when she wants something, we give it to her. <laughs> yes. But for the rest of the house, I don't buy themed blankets. And the reason why is again, I don't want to have to store all those things. I'd rather just have the really nice furs, like this fur. Oh yeah, that thing's amazing. This is the one. Like if you saw our living room makeover and tour, I would rather have this out than one that has Frosty the Snowman on it or, you know, little snowflakes even. I would just rather have this blanket and I'm gonna use this all throughout fall and all throughout winter. And I just think that it's a better use of money. It really looks sophisticated and I just think it's And really honestly, it's, it's warmer. It is, it's warmer. Like these are actually warmer because the ones at, at Target, especially in those types of places yeah. that are more novelty, they're thin. They're yeah. not made for long-term usage, but if you are cold. Yeah, I know, this, I'm like, we'll just keep that right on. This guy's amazing. I know, I love it. So yeah, that's what we do instead. Yeah. This one I'm a little bit on the fence about, if I'm just being perfectly honest. You said the other day, we would never buy Christmas china or Christmas dishes. And I'm like, well, <laughs> we haven't bought them, but I have been thinking about them if I'm being perfectly honest. We used to do a lot of themed stuff. We had, when yeah. we first got married, we moved overseas after we'd been married for two years and then we sold a ton of our stuff. Yes. And then, we never repurchased a lot of these things. So one of those things is we did actually have Christmas china yeah, and Christmas plates. They were actually really cute. I do regret getting rid of them. They were little travel ones with Santa kind of going around the oh, Eiffel that. Tower. Mm, oh, really I cute. Oh, I remember that. If I saw those again, I would buy them. So, but I've noticed I haven't been buying a lot of swordware and I just feel like this is one that I'm like, I haven't been buying it, but I feel like I would, 
I would buy it. You guys let me know what you think because I still think I've been focusing on buying almost like a caterer's kit for entertaining. Yeah. I did a huge Amazon live where I showed all the stuff that I'd bought and I've been buying things, beautiful white serveware pieces so I can make this gorgeous buffet. And so I haven't been, I'm, I'm dropping the blanket, let's set it down. I, I haven't been buying things that are shaped like, like Christmas trees and ornaments right, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But I think that's because we're still building on our home. We're still rebuilding basically after being gone for so long and having to start all over. So I think that those are things that I will actually add on. But you guys can let me know if you think it's too cheesy to have like snowflake shaped plates. No, but I can see you buying like a, like China that has a nice Christmas pattern on it. You would go more a little more elegant. You'd still do fun, but you would do it like in a way that's yeah. not I was, so... This year I bought Ralph Lauren plates to go on the table and they were zebra patterned. And I could have bought the plaid ones, but I didn't. So that's why I'm like, ooh, I didn't actually buy the, the, the Christmas right. themed ones but I still think I'd like to have some. I keep eyeing them in Williams Sonoma as well, and I'm like, oh, I just really love, I just love, I love a classic pattern like the yeah, plaid. I think you would do that. I think I would. But you guys let me know what you guys think. And we'll see what happens next year. Yeah. But the final one, there's no way <laughs> I will ever change on this one. No. I'm like, I still feel like it's embedded inside of my fingers from just taking a couple of the ornaments out of the boxes. It just gets, I feel like it literally gets embedded in your fingers. I feel like I find it in my clothes and in my hair. We went to Michael's the other day and I came home and she's like, you have it in your eyebrows. Yes. And I didn't even like touch anything. It's just being in the air, it's just flowing around. Yeah, and the associate that was there was like, ah, there's glitter on me. And she's like, why? I know. She's like, I'm gonna get fired. I know, <laughs> like, she said she has glitter. Will. She has glitter long, it's so bad. <laughs> she sneezes and it's like. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like yeah. it literally is inside of you. Like, glitter like, long. I just. <laughs> oh my God. I. This picture of the x-ray, they do the x-ray and it's shiny. Oh. Um, <laughs> You know, I think if we took one of my mom, there'd be glitter. <laughs> there would be. <laughs> she's the complete opposite of me. And she's like my best friend. We are best friends. So I love my mom so much. You guys have seen her on the channel. Oh, she's she's a, She the is best. glitter. She is. She is glitter. She she's just, like shiny and happy and. A sweetheart. And she just loves it. So I get it. Some people, she's just like, oh, spread the glitter all around. And I'm like, ah! But there's something about Christmas that makes us want to put glitter on everything. everything. You can't buy greenery. You can't garland. Everything yes. has glitter on it. Everything has glitter on it. So I just don't like it. I don't like having it all over me. It drives me crazy. Yeah. yeah. But there you go. That is our list of things that we have not been buying this season. I hope that it's been good fun for you. Are there things this holiday season that you are not buying to decorate your home with? Are there things on our list that you were like, I will defend to the death. Yeah. Number seven, <laughs> no way. That's my favorite. <laughs> that Santa toilet seat cover. <laughs> He's my buddy. <laughs> That's coming home. <laughs> uh, you guys let us know down in the comments. Uh, we will leave links for the items that we have mentioned in today's video all linked down below. We also have our gift guide. It's fully loaded with yes. lots of ideas. Also, don't forget to look down below and check out my typology link. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love that and I don't want you to miss out. And of course, we hope that you will check out our holiday playlist. It is fully binge worthy. We have holiday, literally just years of holiday content. You can get ideas on how to put together your wreaths, how to do gift things wrap. on Gift wrap, how to do gift wrap. Oh, that's my oh. favorite. That's my favorite one. I can't wait to do that one this year. I know. That's almost actually one of the things I started the channel with was the gift wrap. It's one of your very first one videos. One of my first videos was the gift wrap video and it's something I do every year. So that one is coming up soon. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that and the big home tour that is coming up. But thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yes. We hope that you had a chance to sit down and have a little treat and coffee as well. We always just love when you stop by. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and you literally on the floor at one point. <laughs> Pull it together, woman. <laughs> so, no, if I start laughing right now, it's gonna be three days from now. From what Wait. you just said. <laughs> I didn't even get to say my one big line. No, because what you say that?
<laughs> he can sit on Santa's lap. Oh, Jack. I'm gonna need some more coffee. <laughs>